Hello everyone, this is Dale Cantrell with Maryville Holmes Church. Wanting to bring you a Start Your Day Off Right series video for December the 12th. Uh, my quote is, God didn't remove the Red Sea, he parted it. God doesn't, doesn't always remove your problems, but he will make a way to get through them. My story. Uh, one day a farmer's donkey fell into the well. The farmer frantically thought what to do as a stricken animal cried out to be rescued. With no obvious solution, the farmer regretfully concluded that as the donkey was old and as well, and as the well needed to be filled in anyway, he should get the, uh, give up the idea of rescuing the beast and simply fill the well. Hopefully, the poor animal would not suffer too much. He tried to persuade himself. The farmer asked the neighbors help, and before long, they all began to sho shovel earth quickly into the well. When the donkey realized what was happening, he wailed and struggled, but then, to everybody's relief, the noise stopped. After a while, the farmer looked down into the well and was astonished by what he saw. The donkey was still alive and progressing towards the top of the well. The donkey had discovered that by shaking off the dirt instead of letting it cover him, he could keep stepping on top of the earth as the level rose. Soon, the donkey was able to step over the edge of the well, and he happily trotted off. Life tends to shovel dirt on top of each of us from time to time. The trick is to shake it off, pack it down, and step out. So my scripture is Romans 8, 35 through 39. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine, or nakedness or peril, sword as it is written, for thy sake we are killed. All the day long we are counted as sheep for the slaughter. Nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors, not just conquerors, more than conquerors through him that loved us. For I am persuaded that neither life, nor death, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus. My humor is a couple was dining out, celebrating their 40th anniversary after the meal, the husband presented his wife romantically with a beautiful, very old gold antique locket on a chain. Amazingly, when his wife opened the locket, a tiny fairy appeared. Addressing the astonished couple, the fairy said, Your 40 years of devotion to each other has released me from this locket, and, and in return I can now grant you both one wish each, anything you want. Without hesitating, the wife asked, Please, can I travel to the four corners of the world with my husband? as happy and in love as we've always been. The fairy waved her hand with a flourish, and magically there was on the table were two first-class tickets for around-the-world holiday. Staggered, the couple looked at each other, unable to believe their luck. Your turn, said the fairy, and the wife to the husband. The husband thought for a few seconds and then said, with a little guilt in his voice, forgive me, but to really enjoy that holiday of a lifetime, I yearn for a younger woman. So I wish my wife could be 30 years younger than me. Shocked, the fairy glanced at the wife and with a knowing look in her eye, waved her wand, and the husband became 93. So this is Dale Cantrell with Meridian Holiness Church. I didn't do this to replace your minister. Are you getting to church just if you're not able to attend? Maybe you're in the hospital, uh, nursing home, or rehab, or homesick. So... Uh, if you have a quote, a story, a scripture, or humor, clean joke, my number is 256-508-4410. And until we get to do this next time, may God richly bless you.